We're putting together a video of a Ream Rude water heater install in Northern California. Kind of do a recap of um, how it's installed and then come back and show some of the components that we put in. This thing is definitely a beast and um, makes this unconditioned area pretty cold. So it's kind of crazy coming underneath here. Us in California don't really like cold, you know? So anyways, it's an 80 gallon hybrid water heater and um, got the Cleffy 520 angle mix valve here. And that's set at 125, give or take. And then the water heater itself is set at 130. And we've got different modes because if you go into the app, there's um, settings. You can have it, you know, at 6.30 in the morning go to, you know, heat pump. And at, you know, 10 o'clock, it can go to certain other modes. Um, we've got the expansion tank. And I put a valve here, so if we ever have to replace expansion tank, we don't get flooded. And um, cold water supply coming in. And then a check valve. Um, got one of the flow by mowing water sensors. So if any water gets on the ground, uh, get a notification. And then... Um, got a hose bib here so if we need to purge any air out of the research system we can do that and I've got a shutoff valve on the hose bib the line going out of the house is um, for the TMP and it's graded and it's roughly you know between six inches and two feet off the ground out of the house um, on the research system, we got an air bleeder vent here, got an aquastat research pump, uh, bleeder hose bib, another check valve, and then we go into the bottom of the water heater. We got our TMP coming out and piped out of the house, like I said, condensate pump, and um, that's coming out of the water heater. We've got a disconnect or electrical shutoff. So if we need to service a water heater, we can do that without toasting ourselves. <clears throat> got a ball valve going up to the shutoff to the hot side. <clears throat> um, getting back to that 520 mixing valve, I got valves on both sides so if that needs to be serviced we can remove it without getting flooded again and we got water heater straps on here and i th oh yeah we've got the bonding wire most people don't put those in but um we do and i've got a wemo switch that um I can turn the pump off and on, like if we're on vacation or want to just shut the pump off, we can. And um, also got a temperature um, here. See, it's like 64 degrees in here. And then we've got some information over here. We've got the water heater directions. And then the Kalefi directions. I'll post all these on the video. Here's one that's kind of interesting. So on the water heater itself, it talks about, um, well, this is a service bulletin. And it says towards the bottom, um, heat pump only mode may also work in this configuration but you may have to experiment with your application. Energy save mode will not perform well with research systems due to the fact that it's about 25 degree drop in tank temperature to activate this mode. 
depending on your conditions associated with a specific application, anticipating energy savings from the REAM heat pump water heater could be significantly impacted. Using this recirculating loop may cause the unit to run excessively. The heat pump portion of the hot water heater only produces about 1500 watts in the best conditions. High heat and high humidity conditions may not be able to keep up with the demand. Um, and then in the app mode, so this is where I've got it set. At 5.30 in the morning, it goes to heat pump to 1.30. 7 a.m. in the morning, it goes to energy save mode. 7 o'clock at night, it goes back to the heat pump mode. And then 10.30 at night, it goes to energy save mode. Normally that works out okay. Our house is a two-person house. We use cold water for washing clothes. Um, occasionally I see this and it's annoying because we're, we're not really running out of hot water, but you know, we need to crank up the hot a little bit more in the shower when we see this. Um, so red is not good. The blue is so, so typically we want to see this one here where, um, we got all green bars. Then we got the Liberty pump. Um, the condensate pump needs to be piped out separately, not tied in with a TMP. And then um, we've also got the um, expansion tank, which you're supposed to, if your water pressure is 60 pounds which ours is and we do have a pressure reducing valve on the side of the house um, so water pressure is at 60 the pressure in this tank is 60 and that's how it works also have um, test modes where you can find out what the temperature is at the upper elements and the lower elements um, it's kind of Pokey, it would have been nice to have the Gen 4 water heater where it had a lot of information on the, the readout on the front. Um, and then also one thing with the um, packaging. This is a Type 6 Styrofoam and it's difficult to get rid of. I mean, I could have just broke it up, put it in the um, garbage can, and that would be that, but tried to be um, recycling. So the closest recycle place for that styrofoam, there's like two big chunks or four big chunks in the packaging. Had to take it over to um, another town 30 miles away. And then to be able to do that, you had to be a resident of that town. So I had to get my niece to take it. And it was just, you know, a pain. I don't, I think they could have just went with um, cardboard for packaging and didn't have to do this. So getting back to the water heater, um, the, um, there is a filter on the top that needs to be cleaned every so often. And that's up here. I just cleaned this the other day. It's pretty clean, but you gotta make sure you got enough room to pull it out. And I think that's everything that I wanted to cover. Um, so you can hear it's not too awfully loud and other people have complained. Oh yeah, on the top there's a C TA item which we're not using and that's for the utility companies to be able to monitor and set the the usage so I can't you know if I wanted to use this like at you know 10 in the morning or something you know I'm out of luck because they don't give me power so you could google CTA on water heaters and figure out if you want to 
use that or not, but um, it's pretty restrictive. So that's it. And um, oh yeah, cost-wise, it was um, around 2,300 bucks to get the water heater. It's it is an 80 gallon, and I think it was about a little over four grand to get the whole thing hooked up. Um, so far, you know, we like it. There is some issues with the recirculating pump, but that's it. All right. Thanks for checking it out.